I know what I'm doing, bro. Move. I think I have to save. No. There we go. I just had to show that I knew what I was doing. So I have Surrettes. Uh, when your health is low, you can use that to use a Surrette. After that, your health will be restored to 100%. Kablooey! Hooray! Alright, take the pistol. Take... Along with your machete, you can carry three other weapons. Machete, primary weapons, secondaries, specials. You can only carry one of each. I work with a local guy named Kwasi, street muscle with the APR. I've got my best men out there in the field trying to keep the UFO oh. swacking their way across my zone. Okay. That makes you the B team, son. First play of the day, I need you to get that rust bucket two door outside back on the road. You take shop class, go out there and see if you can get that engine started. You know All right. Sick, right. Don't screw around out there. You can't afford to. That malaria's killed stronger men than you. Open up. All right. Thank you. Sweet, I started in the lumber yard. Nice. The funny thing is, like, when I did this uh, the other day, the lumber yard is where we went to for this mission, or the mission we get in a second. Like, what happens if you f is you fix up the car, and then he'll call you because he's a lazy asshole, or the person that recruits you will call you because they're a lazy asshole, and basically they'll tell you to go to the other end of the map parallel to where you are and do some shit. You'll see what I mean. I think I have to do that first. Now I'll get a call. Or not. Now he'll call me. Holy crap. I know how to sprint. He should call me. Yeah, there we go. When the phone rings, press that to answer it. Yay! There we go. Yeah, you have it. Oh, half a click north is the safe house. Never mind. We have to go to the safe house first, and then we go someplace else. Oh dear. Oh god. Huh. Yeah, I don't like RPGs. They're bad things. They fuck me up. Okay. Yeah, I know the controls. I know, I know, I know. You click the right stick to look behind you. That I remember. Yeah, this is all like the training phase of the game. It's actually pretty well put together. Like, you can kind of tell it's the training phase, but at the same time, it teaches you pretty useful stuff. So that you don't get completely fucked over. The downside to it is that you can't collect anything. We got a live one. Oh, fuck. Fuck you. And his buddy is round the corner. Da 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 da. Got him. Hooray! Wait, maybe I can show this example off now. Wait. Do this. Just got word you cleared out that post. Well done. I've got another task for you, but I can't have you passing out in the middle of it. Grab some rack time, resupply, and be ready to go in a few. You'll be safe at that house. Alright. No, if I... Right, you can see the quality of this weapon. Correct. It looks pretty good. Pristine. Clean. All sorts of shite. If I pick up this, guys, I'm hoping it is changed. There we go. Yeah, if you look at this weapon, it might not be 100% clear, but it's a little bit, like, dirtier. I think. Wait a minute. Maybe it's because I'm in the training, like, phase of the game. Yeah, it is. Fuck! I will show that example off, I swear it. Oh no, this one looks... Worn to shit. Oh well. I will just show that example off later. It's not really apparent at the moment. Which kind of blows. Okay, now we have... Yeah, whatever. Now we have these, which are... These refill your grenades, your frags. And these refill your molotovs. And you switch them by pressing the right stick. But you can't do it indoors. And this is the sleep system of the game. 
basically where that orange dot is is when you'll sleep to so here I'll sleep till 4 if I choose that I'll sleep an entire day etc list goes on I'm sleeping till crap 4 just before 4 but whatever yay and then you see like the day passes by I would say it's better to go out when it's like night but it really isn't if you don't have a sniper because you can't see shit. Alright, Sport, I need you to reconnoiter a UFLL camp further north of your position, an old fishing pier. Or there we go. There's no beam marked on your map, head there now. Alright. I quite like the lumber guy over the, the fishing pier guy. Whoopsie. No, that. It just makes me think that the APR are actually nice people, the UFLL are uh, douchebags. Because last time. It was the person that recruited me was with the UFLL, and they were, and then we had to go to the lumber camp and kill everybody there. So it's it's cool the way they do it. I do actually really like it. Okay, and then we have to do some like scouting before charging into the camp. Scouting really pays off because it lets you know where there are certain things, such as like. Mounted gunners, snipers. Take the small path up here. Get out of the car and look at your map. Ah, uh, use your monocular. Go. Because from up here I can see a bunch of shit. But there's a guy down there. Who's on the phone? It is a really handy tool, this. There isn't many guys. Four. I've got counted. Four guys counted. I don't think this place has anything. Oh, wait. There we go. Everything else is not dotted down on the map, but. Like it says, you can scout for snipers, mounted weapons, vehicles, health stations, and ammo piles. Time to go on in. Oh. Howdy. Got your intel. Looks solid. You got eyes on a bricked up building? The front's got a hostage in there. Four national, apparently. Okay. You gotta get in there and break them out. Wrap up your survey and get it done. Sweet. I could probably get them to there. I don't want to hurt myself. I kind of want to try. Got him. And now there's two other guys maybe? There might not even be that many. There we go. Oh, is that guy. Shit. Here, reload. Give me a second, bro. I'll kill you in a sec. There we go. Oh, there's another guy. He's over there. I see you, baby. Where'd he go? He ran into the building. Are you serious? Idiot. Idioto. Where was the ammo pile? I forget. Boop. Oh, right next to me. There it is. Sweet. That was so much easier than the bloody lumber camp. That's another plus to starting in the lumber camp. The lumber camp has a lot more guys, like, posted there. Shit. Give me a sec. Is this Warren? No? Oh, no, it's Marty! Marty Alencar, you're my best buddy. I can get you some pills for that. Meet me at Mike's bar later, okay? But let's not hang out right now. I need to find a bush with a little privacy. Eh. Ah. So basically, he's got to take a shit. Isn't that nice? All right, so we saved him. Now I need to go back up to get me car. Unless there's one here. Oh, yeah, there is. Hey, son, you did all right. Maybe I should be offering you a full-time gig. Anybody that does good work for me gets proper payment. 
Alright. Completely forgot I have to go back to the camp. You go back to the camp to get paid. That's when you learn that diamonds are the payment. Or the currency of the game. And then, I think that's when you go from there to Mike's bar. And then, you go to some other place. And it eventually ends with getting medication for malaria. And that's the end of the tutorial section. It's a fairly lengthy tutorial, really. Like, half an hour's worth is what it's gonna roundabout be. Or be roundabout. Probably a bit longer than that, because I was fucking around with settings and stuff but then again the intro is about five to ten minutes so it's only a 20 minute tutorial in actual fact actually the whole opening scenes about 10 to 15 minutes so yeah the tutorial section is not actually as long as I'd thought it's mostly because it's bulked up with the intro scene and the like hotel escape scene and that is when you learn about the world and its ways. Where the fuck am I going? Over here. Oh, there's the building. Perfect. Right, let me in. Knock, knock. Yo, what's up? Huh, nice work. Thanks. Here's the deal with the local economy. The only currency worth a damn is diamonds. Forget the paper money. I wouldn't wrap a fish with it. You do work for the APR, you get paid in stones. Now, one of my boys okay. got the sharpest knife in the shed, picked up a case of diamonds and dropped them off here yesterday. <laughs> Stuck them somewhere in the camp and then went off and took a bullet back in town. Maybe you killed him. Anyway, if you want those rocks, go outside and find them. The case has a tracker that you can home in on with your compass. Yeah, that's also where we... Medicine, oh. Malaria's not a little deal. You might want to head over to Mike's. It's an expat bar. Good source for whatever you need. Get yourself healthy and come by the APR office in town. I'll introduce you to Kwasi. We'll talk business. We're done in here. Cool. Yeah, the last thing it teaches you really is the fact that you can track diamonds. There you go. You see the tracker. And then it flashes. I'm pretty sure it flash flashes more frequently. Oh no, I think it just flashes frequently when you're near it. When you're further away, it starts to flash a bit more unfrequently. But whenever you look in the diamond's direction, that light will re reach a solid green colour. Which just shows you that it's at the back end of that place. Basically. There it is. Plus, you can tell when diamonds are near without using the cu your compass. Because when you get really close to them, you start hearing this noise. There we go, we got ten diamonds. And let's... There we go. Weapons dropped by enemies are old and unreliable. V visit wep the weapon shop at Mike's Bar to buy new weapons with those diamonds and avoid gun jams and misfires. I've never had a gun misfire. But I don't really know what it means by that. Oh wait, we're at Lumber, so this makes things really easy. Yeah, Lumber is right next to Mike's Bar. Ha! Huh. I think I might start playing as characters that start in the Lumber Camp all the time. There are different camps, just so you know. There's not just the lumber and the fish pier. There is... There you go, there's four. Four possible starting locations. You've got... The fresh fish, which is the fishing pier. Lumber. Cockfights. And the slaughterhouse. Oh dear. I don't remember where I started when I first played. I think it might have been the slaughterhouse. Or the cockfights. I don't really remember. But well, yeah, four possible locations to go, which is pretty cool. Also, I ended up buying the Fortunes pack a while ago, like when I first did the game. Uh, when I recorded the other day, I didn't have it installed, because I must have cleared it or it got corrupt or something. So I re-downloaded it, and now I have these three beauties in the game. Uh, that is the secondary shotgun, which is a one-shot double-barrel shotgun. That is a silenced shotgun and a explosive crossbow. It Well, it's not an explosive one. It's a crossbow that fires explosive bolts, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, not bad. But at the thing, like at Mike's bar, or here, 
In the weapon shop, you can only buy two of three possible weapons. Because you only have ten diamonds, and the there are two weapons that are four diamonds, 